I've been playing Smash Ultimate for over five years, and as time went on, my skills have been improving. I'm not a tournament player, but I am highly skilled at the game. But I did not expect to see some of the most annoying characters in this game. And that's exactly what we're going to be focusing on. So let's list 15 of them. And if you complain to some of your favorites on this list, that's your fucking problem. Pac-Man has to be that one character that I cannot stand facing up against. And it's mainly due to the damn fruit, the fire hydrant, and that fucking bell. And just looking at him just makes me want to punch a wall. If I find one video of somebody just using Pac-Man to throw hands without relying on cheap tactics, I love to see that. And if somebody has to use them, at least do it as a last resort. Since both characters are relatively the same, I'm lumping them together. Simon and Victor serves nothing but to use projectiles which can get annoying as hell when you just want to throw hands and swing swords. They throw holy water, axes, crosses, and it can get annoying when someone uses forward smash on you. If you say they're good characters, you go to hell. You can go die and go to hell. I don't consider Ness and Lucas to be that annoying. They have moves that can be used to switch it up a notch. But the most annoying attack they share is the PK fire. At least with Lucas, it has a knockback to it. But oh man, goddamn, there's a clear chance that you're gonna run into somebody playing as Ness who will spam PK fire until your percentage is at over 300. You will not go a single match without getting hit by Banjo and Kazooie's most infamous forward special, and that's the Wonder Wing. This attack is invulnerable to nearly everything. Even certain final smashes won't stop this damn attack. Granted, they only have five per stock, and it can be blocked by using the shield, as well as dodging the Wonder Wing. But damn is it so unfair to have such a broken move. Now what does all three links have in common that makes them annoying? Bombs? Arrows? Boomerangs? If you say all three, then congratulations, you deserve a prize. I cannot stand enough that three different variations of the same character could be so easy for the cheapest of players to spam and play the camping game. Especially Kid Link and Toon Link. I hate having to deal with such cheap shit like this. Yeah, don't think I wasn't gonna put DDD on this list because he's most definitely deserves to be on this list. Everything about him is annoying as hell. From his spike balls to his dick sucking mouth, even just looking at him makes me want to rip my dreads off. My god, I cannot stand these short ass annoying characters. The Pikmin they throw at you can really damage you unless you're shielding against them. And the purple Pikmin has knockback. It's so annoying trying to dodge the little bastards while trying to kill these two little gremlins from continuously doing that. Corrin is easily my most hated Fire Emblem character in this game. Like with DDD, everything about this character is annoying, from their dragon lunge to their dragon fang shot. And yes, just looking at them annoys the fuck out of me. I will drill a new asshole into that asshole if they don't fuck off. Who the fuck thought it was a good idea to give this cheater character over 15 RPG moves? It's so fucking unfair! No other RPG character in this game has this, so why give Hero the special treatment? And some of these moves can deal up to 40% damage, like Thwack, Kamikaze, Hatchet Man, and Magic Burst. Hero has to be the second most unfair character in this game. I fucking despise this damn dinosaur. Those fucking feet of Yoshi's can get really infuriating sometimes, and a damn egg throwing doesn't help much. I don't mind Yoshi in Mario Party or Mario Kart, but Smash is where I draw the line. There's only one thing about Villager and Isabel that can really piss me off, and that's the fucking Lord of Rockets. For Villager, it's so easy for people to spam forward special until the cows come home, and I hate having to play the camping game just to avoid the fucking Lloyd Rockets that Isabel plant on the ground. It's bad enough that I have to deal with Luigi's stupid plunger grab, but his up special is so unfair. If you're at 40 or 50% damage, good luck trying to survive the impact of that move. Hell, people can pull off the most devious zero to death combos with him. Lugi, after showing such a confidence there in the last one, oh my. He might just be dead. And he might be just be dead. <laughs> and I, w I was away to say that Lugi was be going to be punished for maybe showing a bit too much uh, confidence before this game started, but already Lugi has brought the game back. And oh, oh my, my god! god! 
Who the fuck thought it was a good idea to add this asshole as a playable character? He's so annoying to deal with, from his spike ball to his stupid poison gas, just trying to fight him is a pain to deal with. Wario is just as annoying to deal with as Luigi, but not to the extent as him. He doesn't have any annoying or unfair attacks, but his face annoys the hell out of me. Plus he smells so much I can smell him from my screen. You all knew I had to save the worst for last, and that's this square-headed bastard. Since Steve's a miner, he's able to mine materials from the ground and use his crafting table to build blocks and weapons. That alone I don't have a problem with, but it's how the mechanics are used. You can be a devious dick and just build a wall or a block to prevent someone from getting back on the stage, giving you a free stock. You can just play the camping game to get a cheap win. There's so many crazy things you can do with the character that it gets ridiculous. In fact, it got so bad that some pro Steve players got hate and death threats for playing as the character. And some tournaments had to ban Steve due to OP he is. As much as I hate Steve with a cure passing, I do not condone sending hate and death threats to anyone over playing a character in a video game. It's not worth it. And to anyone who does this, Get the fuck off the game, because you make the community look bad. I mean, the Smash community was bad enough already, but this right here, just what the hell? But yeah, I really despise Steve in Smash Ultimate. The only thing I will praise him for is how godlike players like Onan makes him out to be. Other than that, he's a character that should've just stayed in Minecraft. And there you have it. That's 15 Smash Ultimate characters that I find hella annoying. My apologies for my language being very colorful and dirty, but these characters really piss me the fuck off. And just recording footage of these characters was atrocious. But hey, if you were to name the most annoying character in Smash Ultimate, sound off in the comments. Until then, this is Star the Protagonist signing out. As always, Goki Genyo, and have a sarcastic day everyone. If you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those notifications on to join the Star Nation. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter, and while you're at it, check out my previous video. Now.